All right, this is Big Dog Supporting over here. Today we have a Cobra um, GT40 intake manifold. Now, this customer brought, bought this Cobra, um, and the seller told the customer, um, Robert, <laughs> that it was professionally ported. Now, um, um, we looked at this manifold, and it was definitely not professionally ported. And we're doing this video to show you guys um, that be careful who you, you know, who you buy these parts from. There's a lot of individuals out there that's just trying to sell you guys, you know, a part and make some money and boost it up. And they don't have any data. They don't have any, you know, um, pictures or anything like that. This manifold was definitely not professionally uh, ported. We will uh, upload um, the pictures of the manifold on our Facebook page. Um, you can view that um, at Big Dogs Porting uh, on Facebook. That's our business page. Uh, right now we're getting ready to flow this manifold. Um, we're gonna flow the number three runner, which is one of the straight runners, a good flowing um, uh, runner on these manifolds. Um, and we're gonna see what this so-called professional professionally ported Cobra can do. So we're running this. Um, oh my goodness. Um, 220, 221 CFM. Now these Cobras in stock form, they flow better than, uh, uh, slightly better than the Explorer, just slightly better, um, and a little less than the Tubi. So this one is flowing right around 220, 221 CFM. Um, this manifold definitely wasn't professionally ported. Like I said, we'll upload the pictures. Um, of this manifold and we're going to come back after we perform our stage two on this manifold so you can see a direct comparison and once again like i said be careful of who you guys get your parts ported by and who you buy ported parts from um, we always recommend you guys to have the seller or the porter provide before and after flow results a lot of individuals say, well, flow results, you know, flow bench numbers, you know, uh, um, we don't race flow benches. Well, you know, smart people know that a motor, an engine is pretty much a big air pump. And getting fuel to the motor is an easy thing. It's the easy thing. It's pretty much airflow. That's the biggest, you know, challenge when you're building horsepower. And CFM basically is airflow so when guys say things like we don't race flow benches and things like that we are providing the service and providing parts okay we are not drag racing our customers combos now every customer does not go to the drag strip every customer is not looking to professionally compete now we do have a tremendous amount of customers that are competing but we also have a lot of customers that, you know, just want a street strip cruiser. You know, they want to be able to have horsepower on demand. And airflow is a big contributing factor to horsepower. So when you have, you know, individuals and porters and guys of that nature scream, oh, you know, we don't race flow benches and airflow and CFM, what are they hiding? Why are they saying that? Everybody knows that, you know, when you buy aftermarket cylinder heads, you know, you're getting cylinder heads that's flowing better than what you currently have. When you buy aftermarket, you know, camshafts or have custom cams done, you know, it's pretty much changing the characteristics of the motor to allow more airflow. Um, same thing when you're doing intake manifolds, whether it's a ported intake manifold, aftermarket, or a ported aftermarket. It's all about airflow, airflow for the combo. So, you know, the biggest issue that we see when people putting it together their combos is the lack of throttle body 
and intake manifold flow. You know, a lot of people, they run aftermarket cylinder heads and the cylinder heads flow pretty well. You know, at 500, 550,000, 600,000 cylinder heads to flow 250, 60, 270, 80, 300 CFM. But then they go put a 225 CFM um, or with the trick flow R out the box, a 260 CFM intake manifold on. And yeah, they make power, but you're not utilizing your components to their full capability. And if you've talked to us, we will always stress, get the most out of your combo. If you're gonna go through the trouble of taking your manifolds off and your cylinder heads off, you know, why not get them ported? You know, and, and and why not have the most flow you can? That way you can make the most power that your combo is capable of. So like I said before, we stress ported parts. I don't care if it's at the market or or or, or factory. At least get them flow to see what you have. That way it's not, you know, you're not guessing at, well, I think my cylinder heads flow, you know, X, Y, Z, or I think my intake manifold. No, we don't build combos like that. Um, we like to know for sure. And as you see, one of the best flowing runners on this manifold after um, this customer bought this manifold from a so-called professionally porter, professional porter, um, it only flowed 221 CFM. So I'm pretty sure, you know, after we flow the rest of the runners, the number one and number five is probably going to go, go down, come in at maybe 190 um 170 cfm at the most um looking at the port work this is pretty much i would say five cfm over stop so like i said we're going to come back after we port this and show you guys the difference see you guys at the track